Today we wanted to take a minute to talk to you about the heating system that we installed in our van. You can tell that it works. Mm. But first we have to start under here. For reference, this is our diesel tank. And this is the forward edge of it. So we're on the driver's side. The driver's seat is like right here. If you could reach all the way up there, you could touch his butt. Oh. What did you just do? I just pushed that grommet up there by accident. <laughs> this is where our heating system starts. Mercedes-Benz were gracious enough to put this hose in at their little factory when they were building this tiny van. And they put a cap on it right here. All you gotta do is pop that cap off and put this fitting on and bam, you've got a diesel supply line. And then you can run your little hose all the way up into wherever you want. Dog, he's mad we took his bed. The grommet's fixed. Now let's go upstairs. So then your hose can come up here. And then it can go to here, where we've mounted our fuel pump. And then it continues. And then it goes downhill. And then it goes underhill. And then it comes back up. And this is where our little furnace is mounted, right here. Can you even see it? Put your little light bulbs on. Wow, would you look at that? If you could see it, you would look at it. That's not it? That's it. Oh. So then, this is a S3D5E made by Sbar or Eberspacher. How do you say it in German? Yeah, this thingy burns diesel fuel that comes in on that blue hose and it heats coolant that's inside these lines. It's just, this is a little water pump and it's just a circulator. So we got hot coolant going through these hoses like this. And then those go downstairs on the other side from the fuel line. And we'll show you where those go. The lines enter the basement there in heat shield. And then they come back here. This is a three quarter inch hose. This is a five eighths inch hose. The return's a little bit smaller. What and size is your hose? Appropriate. <laughs> it's the right size. So I've just got them clamped up here to the body at intervals and they're uh, Pretty, pretty tucked up there, I would say. Like they're pretty much higher than the exhaust for the entire route. So they should be safe there. They don't really have much wiggle room or room to chafe. And then they go up over the exhaust there and over the drive shaft and over the gas tank. Do you want to show them? To the driver's side. It's not gas. Diesel. We're back almost where we started, uh, under the driver's side again, but now we're at the back end of the fuel tank. This is where the hoses come across from the passenger side, and they go up through the floor. And that's it, we gotta go back upstairs. Now we're upstairs. This is where the hoses come through the floor. And this is our utility closet. This receives the hot coolant first. The three quarter inch line comes in here and it comes out here in a five eighths line. And this unit heats water using hot water. Uh, it heats water using hot water? It sounds redundant. Well, it's hot coolant. Right. And it's hot tap water. So it's same but different. So we have our water pump hooked up to our water tank. 
and it pumps water through here into this heat exchanger. And then when it comes out this side, it's hot. But this is a mixing valve. So cold water can be mixed with hot water to get the right temperature of warm water coming out. You just crank this dealy. I just wrapped this guy with some neoprene and used some clamps that I made to hold it down to the floor. It seems to do okay. This is a plate style heat exchanger from Kelvion. You can't see it. Your fingers in the way. It's made by Kelvion. And I can't read the model number. It's GBE220H-22. In case you need to know. It came with our furnace from heatso.com. This guy heats air using hot coolant. It's a air to water heat exchanger basically or a forced hot air system. It's made by Calorie and I forget, Compact Evo 1 is the model name. Hot coolant comes in here, coldish coolant goes out there and this is a little blower motor that blows air across this heating coil and then hot air comes out. And it works, we tested it. You can tell how much I'm sweating. This guy, this guy, the air heater, hot air blower thingy, it has a variable speed motor control. So we don't have the controller out here. Whose fault is that? Not mine. Uh, but there's like five fan speed settings on it. And there's also an auto with a temperature control knob. So you can set it to auto and control the temperature, although it doesn't have numbers on the thing. It's just like, it's a thin red line or a fat red line, depending on how warm you want to be. Mm. But you can set it to whatever temperature and it will just maintain it. And when it's really cold, the fan will go on high automatically. And then as it gets closer to the set temperature, the fan slows down. I just want to be like a medium thickness red line. <laughs> That's my temperature. Oh, and this guy didn't really have any mounting. Well, this guy didn't have any mounting provisions at all. This one has these two big holes that go all the way through it. So I put these legs down into the wood floor. I didn't, I didn't crank them down wicked hard because this is just a thin plastic housing. It's just snug, but it doesn't move at all. So that worked mint. And then the motor control is just screwed to the floor. That's pretty much it.